Kimberly. Welcome to the Glenwood Branch and our brand new makerspace. The Digital Memory Station is all about taking things that are aging and transforming them into something timeless. Most people don't have VHS players anymore, and you'd be hard pressed to find them in a store. So how do you watch your old home movies? I haven't seen what's on these films in many years, but the Digital Memory Station can help convert these old tapes, which are falling apart, and preserve them in a digital format I can take home. Even if I had a VHS player, I definitely do not have one of these. My tape fits right in. Let's see what Christmas 1991 has to offer. The next step is to turn on the VHS player and a red light will appear. Insert your video cassette or the adapter. Make sure that your cassette is rewound to the beginning before you begin the transfer. Remember, be kind, rewind. Next, you're gonna open the QuickTime player from the dock at the bottom. No dialog box will appear, but the menu bar at the top of the screen will read QuickTime player. Next, you're going to set up the player by selecting file new movie recording from the top menu bar. A view of yourself from the webcam may appear. Hello. Next, you wanna change the input. Next to the red button, there's a small down arrow. Click that and select AV to USB 2.0. The window will be in blue. So to record and then play the video, you're going to press the red record button on the window, then press the play button on the VCR player. At this point, you're just going to wait for your video to complete. Your movie will begin to play and the QuickTime player is converting it to digital file. No sound will be audible when you're transferring your files. This is normal. The video will need to play all the way through. The conversion occurs in real time. However long your video is, that's how long this step will take. Once your video is finished, you're gonna stop the VCR, then push the stop on the IMAX screen. After you are finished, don't forget to eject your VHS tape you're going to need to save your work. Click the red X on the top left of the window where you are recording. This will cause a pop-up to prompt you. Do you want to keep this new document? Under Export As, type the name of your file. Under Where, choose the desktop. If you're transferring more videos, you would repeat the same steps. You can save your videos in three ways. You can save them to a USB drive, to the cloud, or you can burn a CD or a DVD. Today, we're going to be saving them on a USB drive. First, I'm going to plug in the USB into the port, then drag your file or folder to the USB icon. That's it. Remember to properly eject your USB from the computer and drag your file into the trash once it has been saved. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, you can email us at askhcls at hclibrary.org or just come into the branch and ask any staff member.